G'day, Jeannie. How are you? Good, hun. How are you? Good. Nice hey, to meet Jeannie. you. Oh, nice to meet both of you. Thank right. you for coming. No worries. Well, right. show us your ride. Well, this is my baby. <laughs> Today's video is proudly brought to us by Optics, Nanotechnologies and Red Hot Internet Solutions. Right, good day everyone. Today I'm here with Jeannie. Now Jeannie's got a, I'm going to call it a VY again, aren't I? It's a VF. <laughs> 2006 VF. Yeah, nice. So tell us a little bit about this car. When did it come into your life? How did... Um, in 2016, I wanted another, uh, I wanted actually a V8, but I decided to go back to my SV6s again because I absolutely love them. They've still got the power, they've still got, and fuel consumption is amazing. Um, I pull a thousand k's per tank out of her when nice. I go on a long trip. Um, so yeah, and the dealership down in Rockingham at Holden's at the time, they knew I wanted green, so they got her special in, so she was the first green one to come in for me. Um, being a car detailer, I was very pedantic about they had to detail her three times before I looked at her. Okay, yeah. Off the truck. <laughs> when kept it them on their toes. Oh yeah. And then um, I'd only had a, probably for a couple of months, then I got the King Springs, uh, double SLs and triple SLs at the front. Then I went and got the airbrushing done um, on the bonnet and the motor. And then I changed the rims. I've got uh, the brake calipers painted the same as her, the Jungle Fever Green yep. and the HSV Standard. Um, so yeah, and I've also changed the steering wheel from the normal SV6 to the Redline steering wheel as well. Nice, oh, so you've just basically personalised it to your, to Ab your needs. Yeah. Absolutely, yep. yeah. Now the airbrushing looks really good, so who, who did you have do that for you? Uh, James Creative Work in Fremantle. Yeah, nice. He, he was absolutely amazing. We had to take the bonnet in and that, and yep. oh, he was amazing. I was very pedantic, very worried, because it's still a brand new car and we had to take the bonnet in. Yeah, and it was my, a nervous moment. Yeah, my two mates that had to help me, oh, they were absolutely... Yeah, they were so nervous. So we're actually sweating, and one of them said, "I've got plane tickets just in case anything happens. We're done. We're gone." Yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. So what's the actual paint colour then? The green. It's actually called Jungle Fever Green, but everyone just calls it Jungle Green. Okay. So specially ordered. I noticed you've got uh, on your tyres. You've even got uh, Poison Girl in the green on your tyres. Yes, I've got so... them specially made up. I had to. They have got the darker green but I didn't want that one, the lighter green. So the guys that I went through in Bibra Lake, uh, Superior Lettering, they had to specially order it from Melbourne for me to get it over. Okay, yeah, so they couldn't do this sort of thing locally? No, yeah. they had to get the colour from over in Melbourne. Right, Jenny, so you've modified this to your own standards. So where did all this come from? Where did the passion in cars for you come from in the first place? Um, I'm originally from Kalgoorlie, Boulder, and as a little girl, like seven years old, we all learnt to drive early, and, you know, three on the tree, that was a lot harder to drive. Yep. Um, so, my dad always had different cars, and he'd always tinkle around with the cars, so I always got involved, like, I'm the baby in the family, I have older brothers that were never interested, and I was, I was always tinkling in dad's shed, yep. wanting to know how a motor went, you know, how to pull off a tyre and do things like that. Then when I went to high school, while all my female friends were doing secretary courses and cooking courses, yep. I was doing motors and mechanics because oh, that, yeah. that's what I wanted to do. No, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So then as time went on, you know, like um, I've had friends that had their licence, I didn't. We still had uh, fun in the cars and, mm -hmm. and what they had. And then as time went on, you know, I got my own car. I owned a 1988 Walkinshaw. So nice. I've, uh, yeah, so I've owned some really beautiful cars, and yep. then when I did get um, this one, I personalised it to myself because every car out there is the same, except for the number plates, where I wanted something different, something unique, and something that stood out and go, hey, I'm here. Well, it certainly does that. <laughs> it certainly stands out. <laughs> it yeah. does, and she does get a lot of photos. I get asked for people when I um, do take her out and. Um, I'm very cautious on where I do park her. She doesn't go to shopping centres and that, and people do come up and go, look, can we take photos? Not a problem. Yeah. Even at car shows as well, and she's been around, you know, the very pumped up Cam V8s, and people still want to take photos of her. That's it. Well, it's not that kind of a build, is it? You know, no. It's um, <laughs> not a big obnoxious out the bonnet thing. It's, you know, it's just a nice cruiser. Yep. Yeah. Um, the motor hasn't been touched. It's yep. still the original motor. Nothing has been done to it at all, and I don't want to. And that's just the, the V6, the Alitech V6? Uh, 3.6 LFX motor. Ah, here's my baby, all underneath, airbrushed as well. Nice, yeah, so they've got the, the green flames under here to match the flames around um, the poison 
Poison Ivy, is it? Uh, well, or it poison is girl? Poison, yeah, it's Poison Girl, but um, when James and I were doing it, we wanted to keep away from the ivory because when people do Poison Ivy, that's the first thing that they do. Yep. So we decided to change it up a little bit and have the green flames instead, just something different. Um, I only got the motor cover done because I didn't want it to overtake everything. Yep. I just think just the motor cover just looks really, um, as the old saying go, more is uh, less is more. Yeah. And this is why, and I think it looks quite nice. Yeah, yep. it's very clean, very very clean. In <laughs> Being a you car get, detailer, yeah. Yeah, no, well, yeah well, well, we haven't talked about that yet, have we? Uh, you, so you used to be a, a car detailer. Oh, you still, oh, I still am. Still am? Okay, yep. yeah. So what's your car t detailing business then? Um, well, I work for a company called uh, Real Shine de uh, Car Detailing, and we're yep. in, up in Bibra Lake. Yep. Um, but when we detail cars, we get cars like from the Pilbara and that that are red as red. Yeah. So we have to strip everything. I mean, headlights come out, dash, seats, flooring, absolutely everything comes out yep. to acid wash the whole car underneath, absolutely everything. So then by the time it goes back to the dealership where it's going to be sold, yep. it is perfectly white and looks brand new again. And no one would know it's done a million Ks out in the mm. red dirt. Yeah. No, <laughs> definitely not. So it is hard work. Yeah. And um, I do get told I have OCD with well, my I cleaning. Well, I can see that in here. I definitely can. <laughs> so yeah, but this is my pride and joy. Poison Girl is my pride and joy. I look after her. I make sure that she's got the right products on her. And I only use one sort of uh, product on her, which is a WA base, which yep. is ACS Rotec. Mm -hmm. um, I love their products. Um, there are, are probably other good products out there, but I'd rather stick to what I know than what of I course. don't know. Yep. Um, so, yeah, so I'm quite happy with their um, everything that I use of theirs, and they make her just shine. Yeah. Well, everything in here looks immaculate, so you could probably <laughs> sit in there and have dinner, really. <laughs> yeah, eat off it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, perfect. All right, well, let's go and um, let's go and check out the inside now. Yep, no troubles. Again, it's very tidy in here, isn't it? <laughs> very, very clean. Um, I actually don't allow anyone to get into my car. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Well, I'm glad I, I stayed on the boundary, on the boundary then, and I didn't get in trouble. Uh, and if they, if I do have uh, a friend or two friends in here, they're not allowed to eat, drink, or anything in here okay. at all. Yeah. Um, my grandbabies have been in my car. They yep. absolutely love it, but they know the rules of Poison Girl. Yep. It's Nanny's car, and yeah, it's like my pride and joy. No, that's it. I can definitely see that. Yeah, it's immaculate <laughs> in here. Absolute credit to you. I mean, everything. Not a. I, couple of specks of dust on your screen we can notice and that's about oh, it. Oh, that's because yeah. the doors are open yeah. and it's just, it's, everything's going like that. But no, nah, she's always immaculate, always like this, all the time. Yeah, beautiful. No matter what. And these seats are really nice looking seats too. The, the, I assume they're just the factory holding seats that came with it. Yeah, they are. And I, they are the most comfortable seats that I have actually sat in in a Commodore. Yeah. I find them very comfortable. Um, yeah, they're, they're just really nice. No, they look great with the leather and the Alcantara suede. I'm sure that's got to be Alcantara. What a lot of people don't realise, the black edition is actually um, a, a smaller version of the red line, the SS red lines, okay. um, because it's got the bigger screen, the red line stitching um, on the dash, on the seats. So it's basically based on the red line in the Holdens. Okay. So, yeah, so it's not just your basic um, SV6. It's got a lot more than your normal... Uh, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, especially with the seats, I wouldn't have expected to see these seats in here no. when I opened the door. So yeah. But I've also got the red line steering wheel. I put that in her so I can drive it paddle shift as well. Okay. Oh, nice. So that, yeah. that must be a bit of fun. It is. Yeah. It is a bit of fun. I love it when I pull up at the lights and you get the young guys and go, "I'll give you a drag." I wind down the window and go, "Manual or auto." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So then I know which way to drive, yeah, and they nice. just look at me and go, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. Well. Um... What are we going to look at next? Cool. All right, Judy. Well, we'll come back into your woman cave. Can't, better not call it a man cave. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the Holden theme in here is very strong. So you're obviously a passionate Holden girl. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I absolutely. See, I'm seeing lots of pictures of Peter Brock up everywhere. So yes, um, I've met Peter Brock um, awesome. actually several times over in Pukekohe, in New Zealand. Yep. Um, up at Winton in Darwin. Um, here in um, Perth. So yeah, and I've got photos of him and. Yeah, you know, like Greg Murphy and everybody else as well. So, yeah, nice. Yeah, and I've nice. got parts of the cars of Stephen Richards and um, Stephen Reeds from back in 2000 as yeah, well. Yeah, okay, yep. So, yeah. Yeah, nice. No, so you've been collecting over the years um, to fill this space or was this just 
something that came out of um, your imagination one afternoon? Like how, how <laughs> no, did no, no. I've always collected Holdens. Excellent. But when um, I, um, I got into the garage, I actually done it up for her. So Putters and Girl has got an expensive garage. Yep. And then a mate of mine, his mate was selling a pool table and I was looking for one. And he goes, I know that you will love this. And I went, okay, let me have a look. And it happened to be this one. Yep. And I went, yep, sold. Yeah, there done. would be no questions asked there, I'd imagine. Yeah, exactly. And then I got that, uh, the big line specially made up by a company down in Mandra um, nice. because that's what I wanted. Yep. Um, my partner, Craig, bought me the Holden toolbox yep. and the little um, petrol bowser and the um, cap as yeah, well awesome. and yep. my holding pool balls for me yeah so yeah and the green one is all my detailing stuff like all my different chamois all my different microfibers for different yep. parts of the car and everything else i noticed you got this really nice genie's cave um sign up there that someone's obviously made for you Yes, um, my mate Daryl down in um, Albany, he does chainsaw carvings mm -hmm. and he actually made that for me to put in my woman's cave. Yeah. <laughs> so Excellent. Say. Yeah, no, and that's the sort of things you need in a space like this, isn't it? Things that have come from friends and from far and from, and it's all about your passion. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like the big flag up there with the GDS was from my mate Jason over in Sydney. Yep. He uh, fell in love with it. He couldn't get green, so he sent it to me as well. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yep, so she's got her own stereo. TV up there as well so yeah so do you spend much time in the house no <laughs> no I don't no, no I think I think I'd be out here playing pool most afternoons yeah, yeah. no I, I love coming out here and it's fully air-conditioned and heated as well oh lovely <laughs> and I've got multiple Holden hats I've got a lot more than what's actually up I bought the last pair of the Holden thongs up there as well and the old uh, speakers oh, the drive -in from speakers yeah, yeah they're from yeah. um Kalgoorlie, the old uh, viewway drive-in oh, up there. Nice. <laughs> so yeah, oh, that'd be a great memory to have. Did you go and see movies there as a kid? Oh, absolutely, like yeah, awesome. ET and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was really good. Oh, they actually work. I just got to get the wires to wire them up to the stereo, and they work. Oh, nice. Hmm. Yeah, beautiful. So I've hooked it up, and my friend actually made me that clock with Poison Girl on it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and yeah, he's I didn't over. In, it before. Yeah, he's over in Sydney, so he yep. got that specially made for me as well. And my mate bought me those. Welcome to Jeannie's garage and welcome to the Poison Girl garage with a walking shore. Yeah, a walking shore. It. Well, that makes you said you'd had a walking shore yep. once before. So. Yep, he knew that I did, so he got them specially made for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Bit of rivalry, though, between my partner Craig and I, though. He's a Ford man. Oh, right, yeah. So, <laughs> so how was this year's Bathurst for you two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... Was it parody mentioned? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we won't say anything yeah, about no. that. <laughs> we better not, yeah. This is a G channel. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, Jenny, I think there's only one thing left to do now, and that's if I'm allowed in your car, we could go for a cruise. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Awesome. Let's do it. All right, Jenny, I am just getting the, the thought of ultimate comfort here. <laughs> the seats are comfortable. I don't care what anyone says. The... No, they're, they're beautiful and nice, cold, chilly air con, which I like. <laughs> Phil would be turning the heater up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is lovely cruiser. It'd be great to get out and do some K's in this, I'd imagine, on oh, the open road. Absolutely. She's beautiful to drive. Just put cruise control on and she's amazing. Yeah. So are you a member of any um, Holden clubs or anything like that with this one? Uh, yeah, West Coast Commodores. I'm in with them. I haven't been on a car cruise for ages, though. Uh, through work and that, of course, it's taken me that way. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going out and about very soon with uh, West Coast Commodores. So where did the original idea for Poison Girl come from? Um, As a theme for the car? Because I like green and I'm a girl. Yep. And um, just, every, and green is poison usually, so Poison Girl. Yep. But there is also a song by him called Poison Girl, which is really good as well. Yeah, okay. So yeah, but no, I had Poison Girl way before I knew about the song. I've had these plates probably for about 17 years now. Okay, so basically it just fit. Yeah, I'm a girl, I love green, green's poison. So yeah, nice. Poison Girl. See, people go on about King Springs. I think she rides beautifully with King Springs, but it's like any car. If you hit a pothole, every car bounces. That's right. No matter what. We did it more to level the car out. Yeah. Because when they're new, the back is always up higher, and I want to level her out, and she sits beautifully perfect. Yeah, nice. 
I'm not a girly girly. I'm more of the tomboy side of things. Yeah, I so, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I like my cars. Um, I like getting dirty. I like fixing things. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't care if I break a nail, you know. Yeah. Every girl is different. But, yeah, country girl, you can't, you can take the girl out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the girl. All right, Jenny, thanks so much for having us out today. We've really had a great time here with you today, looking, checking out your car and everything, and your, your girl cave, we'll call it. <laughs> so thanks for talking to us at Aussie Garage. Um, have fun out there in that thing, and we'll see you around the traps. Absolutely, but there's one last thing I'd like to say. For any girls that are out there that have got a car, no matter what it is, give these guys a buzz. Come on, girls. Get into it. It's not just a man's world anymore because us girls, we enjoy our cars just as much as they do now. Well said. Awesome. Yep. Fantastic. Thanks so much.